One, two, three. Watch. It looks like it just magically floats. So it moves from here, and the cap magically flattens between my hands. Like that the bottle magically refills with water. Let's make my escape. Oh no! Era TV .com. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today we're exploring how magic tricks are done. How did you do that? There are 10 different categories of magic tricks, and pretty much every magic trick in the world fits into one of these 10 categories. So we're gonna be breaking down each one of the 10 categories and showing you an example of a trick that you can do for each, and then teaching you how to do it yourself. So if you're ready, hit the thumbs up button and let's go. Our first type of magic trick is a restoration trick. A restoration is where you take something broken or you take something that's empty and you make it whole again. You restore it. First trick coming up. Okay, check this out. We've got a little bit of water left in my water bottle. I'm just gonna drink it. But now I'm out of water. So watch, we can just use a little magic and you can see the bottle will begin to refill just like that. And just like that, the bottle magically refills with water. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here is everything you're gonna need to pull this off. So this is actually a trick that I invented. You're gonna need the stopper from a test tube or a wine cork, air supply hose for an aquarium, a balloon, an empty plastic water bottle, and a drill. So your first step is to take the drill and you're gonna drill a hole through the wine cork or the little rubber stopper. So once you've got the hole drilled in the stopper, you're going to feed a length of air tube through the hole. Now your next step, once you have the tube fed through the cork or the stopper, is to drill a hole in the side of the bottle as well. So once you have the hole in the side of the bottle, you're going to feed the tubing through the hole. Obviously, this is the opposite side of the tube that is not in the stopper. Now that you have the tube fed into the bottle, you're ready to prep the water. So the next step is to take a balloon and fill it all the way up with water. Now, obviously, all of this prep work happens before you ever perform the trick. And all of this is going to be hidden inside your jacket. And the tube is going to run up your sleeve and be concealed in your hand. Now, once you've got the balloon completely filled with water, you're going to take the mouth of it and stretch it over top of the stopper. You want to make sure you pinch the balloon off so that water's not squirting out. So once you have the balloon stretched over the stopper, it should be set up just like this. So here's how you're going to have this. You're going to have the balloon right underneath your arm inside your jacket so that you can squeeze it and force more water out. And as you can see, it will begin to pump water right into the bottle just like that. So as you squeeze, that water is just dispensed and you can see that water level just begin to rise. You just want to make sure that the tube is being concealed by your hand. And once it's concealed, it really looks like that water bottle is just magically refilling and it's totally under your control You can stop and start the rise of the level of the water by just squeezing the balloon So start off the routine by emptying out the water bottle either by drinking it or pouring it into a cup And then you can magically make it refill and the water restore so This is a good example of a restoration of taking something that's empty and making it full again Our next type of magic trick is a transformation a transformation is when an object turns from one thing into another It changes in some way. Let's see an example of a transformation trick now. Okay, check this out. I've got a metal bottle cap here. On the count of three, you'll see this happen. One, two, three. And the cap magically flattens between my hands. You can hand this out for examination. Your audience can inspect it to their heart's content. It's an amazing magic trick that you can pull off at home and I'll show you how right now. The first thing you're going to need to set this up are two identical bottle caps. You need metal bottle caps and you need them to be exactly the same. Now we're going to take one of them and hammer. Now once you have this bottle cap flattened out, your next step is to attach a rubber band to the other bottle cap. So you're going to take your normal intact bottle cap and you're going to take a nail and the same hammer and you're just going to put a little hole right there. Once you have the hole poked through the cap, your next step is to put a rubber band through and tie it off. And make sure you do a double knot. Now you've got this set up right here with it tied onto the bottle cap and then you're going to take the other end of the rubber band and attach it to a safety pin. So this is your setup to start the trick and you're going to clip the safety pin up inside your sleeve. Now 
with the safety pin in place, the rubber band should be running up your sleeve and the cap should disappear up your sleeve when you let go. So we can hold it at our fingertips like this with the rubber band concealed by our thumb going right up the sleeve. And then all you have to do to make this cap disappear up your sleeve is lift your thumb off and it will pop right up your sleeve. You're gonna take your flattened cap just like this in finger palm on the other hand. The one cap that's attached to the rubber band is in this hand and the other cap that's flattened is concealed in finger palm in this hand. You're gonna hold it between your forefinger and your pinky just like that on the edges. Now combining the two motions of lifting your thumb and that one popping up your sleeve and you smacking this together and it looks like the bottle cap is just magically flattened. You can hand this one out for examination. It makes a great souvenir that people can keep and they'll tell the story of your performance for years to come. Up next is my personal favorite, levitation or suspension. Levitation is where you make something float in midair. Check it out. Card trick time. Watch the card. If I just let go, it looks like it just magically floats in midair. Look, you can wave above and below it on all sides or it just floats right there. I'll show you the secret right now. Okay, check this out. This is the secret to the card trick. It's attached to a long wire that goes right around my chest and we'll show you how to set this up. So you've got your wire in a shape like this and you want it to extend out the front like so and then that's gonna be taped to the back of the card just like that so that when it's worn on your body, this is gonna wrap around you and this will stick out the front. It really looks like the card is just magically floating. You can wave all around it. And this is a trick that we invented just for this video. So you can try this out at home. All this is is a piece of wire taped to the back of a card. Our next category of magic trick is a vanish. Simply when you make something disappear. Take a look. Okay, I have a really cool card trick to show you. Think of either color, red or black. Which one? Black. Black? Okay, we're gonna get rid of all the black cards. Uh -huh. So now think of hearts or diamonds. We've got the red cards left. Which one? Hearts or diamonds? Diamonds. Diamonds, all right. Get rid of the diamonds, so we've only got okay. hearts left. So we're getting rid of the clubs, the spades, and the diamonds. Watch. <laughs> only the hearts. How did you do that? What the whole set? I picked so fast. Like, how did you? even know. The secret to this one is called a magician's choice. All you do is pick a suit of cards. You can pick diamonds, hearts, clubs, spades, whatever you want to pick. And you're going to eliminate all the rest of the cards from the deck except those. Then you're going to ripple shuffle those cards with the other half of the deck to make them evenly spaced in your hand. This way it looks like you're holding a full deck of cards. Then the magician's choice is basically you just say think of red or black and then whichever one they think of, depending on what they say, you're going to eliminate the black or you're going to eliminate the red depending on the suit you pick and then once you've narrowed it down to the diamonds or the hearts or the clubs or the spades then just have them think of one of those not telling them oh we're gonna get rid of this one or we're gonna keep this one you say that after they make their choice so that way you can direct them to whatever you want them to choose and it seems like free will like they just randomly chose that but you're actually guiding their choices to the outcome that you want that is the magician's choice. Our next category of magic trick, mind reading. There are a lot of different forms of mind reading. Here's a cool example that you can do at home right now. Okay, this one is a really cool mind reading trick. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the room and Veronica, you're gonna think of any number between one and 20, all right? Okay. And then you're gonna say it out loud so that Eric can hear it. And then I will come back into the room. I'm gonna give you guys like 30 seconds, okay? All right, so think of any number between one and 20. I'm leaving the room now. I already have it. Uh, four. Four. Okay. Like. This many. Yeah. Four. Okay. I, ch I changed it. You're good. Okay. Here I come. So, you said it out loud, right? Yeah. Eric heard it? Yeah. Okay. Eric is going to transfer the thought to me. Watch. Check this out. Four. There's no right. way. teach you and you how it's done right now. Okay, all you need to do this mind reading trick is a friend to be in the room and send the thought to you. Here's how they're gonna send the thought to you. This is absolutely genius. You're gonna put your hands, your fingers on their temples right here. And then since they heard the number that the person thought of, they're going to send that message to you. They're gonna send that number to you by clenching their jaw. They're gonna put their teeth together and clench their jaw and like flex their temples. They're going to flex their temples the same amount of times that matches the number that they picked. So in Veronica's case, she picked the number four, so Eric 
flexed his temples four times to let me know that the number was four. It's a great way to include a friend in a performance and make it seem like you're magically reading people's minds. Try that at home. This next type of magic trick is one of the most popular. It's a penetration trick. Penetration is where one object passes through another. Take a look at this cool coin trick that's a perfect example of a penetration. Okay, check this out. I've got a pile of coins on my hand. Watch. And just like that, the coins are magically impaled on my fingers. All you're gonna need to pull this off are some half dollars, just normal half dollar coins. And you're going to need five karate coins. We have these available at EvaneraTV.com right now. And you're just gonna slip one of these over your finger. And then you're going to conceal this hand behind your back. The pile of coins is gonna go in your other hand. And as you toss these up, they're gonna provide misdirection and cover to create the illusion that your fingers just magically penetrate the coins. You can hand these out to your audience for examination. It's a perfect example of a penetration magic trick. And it's very simple simple, anyone can do it with just a little bit of practice. And these are real coins from the US Mint that are specially made just for our shop. Head over to EvanAraTV.com today and pick some up for yourself. Stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win a Magic Karate coin. I'm giving 10 of them away to 10 lucky comments in the comment section. Next up is Transposition. Not to be confused with Transformation, they're two different things. A Transposition is when two different objects, one here, one here, switch places. Here's an example, check it out. Okay, this is a great example of a Transposition magic trick. We have a blue deck of cards and a red deck of cards and they're going to transpose and switch places on the count of three you'll see it happen one two three the cards magically switch places this is a quick and simple card trick that i invented for this video so all you need are two decks of cards you need a red deck and a blue deck and all you're going to do is take the top cards off the deck and switch them and then you're going to square up the deck and do the same thing with the other now when you present this to the audience make sure you refer to this as the red deck of cards and this is the blue deck of cards and then when you're ready to make them switch places all you have to do is spread them out and then you're going to take the top cards right here and you're going to keep those underneath your hands as you slide them out like this all the attention and focus should be on these cards because they just magically switched places in front of your viewers eyes you can invite everyone to check out the cards it's a quick and easy transposition magic trick that you can do at home right now up next is transportation when one object moves from one place to another here's a good example of a transportation trick Take a look. Okay, the magic orange trick. So we have two cups and one orange. All you have to do is follow the orange. It's gonna go right underneath this cup. You just have to remember which cup it's under. All right, keep track at home. You can put your finger on the screen, whatever you need to do. Here we go. Where do you think the orange is? Were you keeping track? Think it's here? Here or here? Think it's here? Take one more time. One more time. Here or here? Now watch, set the cups down on the table. The orange magically reappears. Now check this out for the final act. We sit it on top of the cup. This cup goes on top. The orange magically jumps right through the cup. The secret to this trick, two oranges. This is really simple. You're just gonna squeeze the cup on the side to make the orange disappear. If you have an orange underneath each cup, no matter which cup they pick, all you do is squeeze it, hold that orange up, and lift this one, or the opposite, and they're going to lose the challenge every time. This is a really good example of a transportation magic trick. So a transportation is something moving from one place to another. It moves from here, Back to the other cup. Our second to last one on the list is a production. Make something appear. That's so the opposite of a vanish, when you produce something. Here's a fun example of a production. Take a look. secret to this magic appearance of the giant fish? Well, it's just a giant appearing fish. You're just gonna need a bag that's big enough for it to fit in, and this guy just folds up like an accordion. Then you can just grab it, pull it up, and it looks like it magically appears out of the bag. It's a really visual and funny example of a production magic trick where something is appearing from a container that is way too big to fit inside. Last but not least on our list of 10 is an escape stunt. Escapes are kind of their own unique category of magic. Here's a really suspenseful escape stunt that you can do at home. Okay, it is escape time, so 
this is a crazy escape. We have a water balloon filled with ice cold water and it's really cold outside here. We have that attached to a rope. It's running up over that beam. The rope comes back down here, attached to a pile of bricks on the floor. And I have a candle right here. So what's gonna happen is Eric is gonna tie me up in the chair with the rope, light this candle. And then I only have the amount of time it takes for the candle to burn through the rope where the water balloon falls on my head and gets me soaking wet. Let's see if I can escape in time. Let's go. Okay, now Eric is going to tie me up. Okay, I'm all tied up, can't move. Now it's time for the escape stuff. Go ahead and light the candle. Okay, candle's lit. Time to make my escape. miss that one stay tuned for the secret of how you can do this stunt too coming up next the secret to this is all in how the rope is tied also you want to time out how long it takes for the candle to burn through the rope before you do the trick so you know exactly how much time you have obviously this works best with laugh at life balloons but you can use any balloon so the secret to this is to wrap the rope underneath your legs first cross over the top and then you're just going to cross it like this but not tie it in a knot yet you're going to lay your hands over it like this now you can have them tie as tight a knot as they want on top that can tie as many knots as they want. You can make it like a triple, quadruple knot. And then all you have to do to free yourself is just turn your hands sideways and it'll loosen up just like that enough where you just slip out of the rope and make your escape before the balloon falls and gets you soaked. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you learned something from the video, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with somebody you think might like it as well. We make a new magic video like this every single week on this channel, so be sure to subscribe if you're new. Also, be sure to head over to evanerratv.com. That is our online shop. We have a ton of really cool magic tricks, really easy stuff that anyone can perform and we ship all around the world so no matter where you are in the world you can get a box of magic shipped to your doorstep and we have a lot of cool laugh and life gear pranks and a whole lot more go check it out link is in the description at evaneratv.com we just passed 200,000 followers on tiktok if you have a tiktok account go follow me on tiktok link is in my description and it is giveaway time i'm giving away 10 magic karate coins to 10 lucky comments in the comment section down below all you have to do to win a karate coin leave a comment on the video and give it a thumbs up the more comments you leave on the video the better your chances of winning because I'll be going through and picking random comments, then mailing out the magic to you so you can perform it at home. Time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Send your full mailing address to this email address on the screen to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on this video and leave your comments in the comment section down below. I read all of them. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, be sure to check out the card up here. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.